Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me. And yesterday, my friend sent me a text at four o'clock in the afternoon and said, do you want to play a game? Of course, I want to play a game. I love competition. I love trivia. He said, here are the rules. I'm going to give you 10 players in a random order from the 2011 NFL draft. Your job is to blind rank them one to 10 on their Hall of Fame resume. The main catch was I had no idea who was coming next, so I had to go off of pure gut instinct. After 10 names, this was my final list. And honestly, I don't think it was half bad. He stuck me with Jason Kelsey and JJ Watt as the last two and it really screwed things up. But otherwise, I think for my first go at things, it was pretty good. So he said, let me make you another one. I'll send you it in a Google slide and you can do it live on your channel for a video. And you thought I was gonna turn down free content? Let's do it. So today we are blind ranking 10 random players from the 2014 NFL draft based on Hall of Fame resume. I don't know who's going to be on this list. So we have to go one at a time and be very careful to leave the appropriate spots in the appropriate places, even though I have no idea who's coming down the line. Let's begin. First, we have Mike Evans, a very solid wide receiver, a wide receiver who I do think will make the Hall of Fame, a guy that you know, has multiple 1,000 yard seasons. Mike Evans has had 10 straight 1,000 yard seasons. That's unbelievable. Um, but again, I don't know who else is going to be on this list. And I don't know if Mike Evans, you know, cracks the top three. So I'm going to shove Mike Evans here at four. And we're going to move along. Jadavian Clowney had a ton of hype coming out of college. I mean, one of the most hype defenders, his famous tackle on that Michigan player where he just flattens him in the backfield. But I think his pro career died off a little bit. However, I hear in off season training camp, he is looking better than ever, according to the Carolina Panthers. So we'll see. Uh, but right now, I really think Jadavian Clowney is, I don't want to say a bust, but he's borderline a bust from how hyped he was at South Carolina. I'm going to throw him at eight. And again, I will recognize that maybe that is doing him bad, but uh, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable putting him on any higher. Moving on to number three, we have Zach Martin. And here's the deal. I think offensive linemen are a little unfair in this, um, you know, in this game. I just, I feel like they're their role is underappreciated, so it's hard to rank them appropriately up next to skill players. But I do know that Zach Martin is one of the best tackles in the NFL, um, a guy you hear constantly talked about, um, even for an offensive lineman, which says a lot. I'm going to stick him at three um, and just... You know, maybe that, I don't know. I'm just going to stick it at three. <laughs> at number four, we have Odell Beckham Jr., a guy who shocked the world and made people everywhere refer to a one-handed catch as an Odell. I mean, he was on par with the Kobe of the NFL world with that catch he had on Sunday Night Football against the Cowboys. Now, a lot of people say that his career began and ended with that catch. I'm not going to necessarily say that. I do think he is highly talented, and I think he's been in his share of bad situations. But I think when it comes to Hall of Fame resume, if we take that catch out of the out of the equation, Mike Evans has a better Hall of Fame resume than Odell Beckham Jr., but I do think Odell will still get the credit he deserves. Maybe him and Tua can find some chemistry. I'm going to stick him at six. At number five, we have Derek Carr. And unfortunately, kind of like Odell, I think he has been a victim of bad situations. The Raiders obviously have not been a team that's competed. They've been in a tough division. And then he goes to the Saints and, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do there? Following up Drew Brees, right? I, I don't know if Derek Carr deserves the nine or 10 spot. I just feel like that is pretty aggressive. Um, but again, quarterbacks, when you think about the grand scheme of quarterbacks, though, I mean, his role is so important. And has he done what he needs to do? I don't know. It's either going to be seven or nine. We're going to stick Derek Carr at nine. And again, that may be too harsh. I will fully come out and say that that may be too harsh, but we have to do what we have to do. We don't know who's coming next. Uh, we'll see what happens. Khalil Mack. Okay. Khalil Mack. Again, a guy who had so much hype and then just kind of fell off. He and Jadavian Clowney have a similar trajectory in the NFL. But, but has he rebounded? Has Khalil Mack found 
a second stride. I don't know. Um, I'm going to stick it. My gut says stick him at five. My gut says stick him at five. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and, and again, I don't love it. I could see an argument for seven. I think Khalil Max career will be higher than Jadavian Clowney's career in terms of Hall of Fame resume. So I don't think he's a 10 spot. We'll put him at five for now. Number six, we have CJ Mosley. Um, I mean, I, forgive me. I don't know really much about CJ Mosley. Um, you know, people are going to flood the comments. You don't know ball. I get it, guys. I can't, I can't know every position, every player ever to exist in the NFL. I'm trying, but I can't do that because I don't know CJ Mosley's name. And because he's obviously someone that's not talked about redundantly, I'm going to stick him at 10 and you may be shaking your head and saying, what? I'm, I'm unsubscribing. I'm never watching another one of your videos again. Fair, fair. But I hope you stick around. I hope I can redeem myself. Uh, I hope we have some dogs because we have the one and two spot open. Dogs indeed. Um, this is where we truly have a difficult, a difficult choice because Devonte Adam or Devonte Adams, yeah, is not seven. He's one or two. And I think I am correct in my final list. He's one or two. Now we have only two guys left. So what are the odds? One of those guys is better than Devonte Adams. I don't think so. I don't think so. So we're going to shove Devonte Adams at one and we're going to feel darn good about it because I think I think he's going to have, I think in the 2014 draft class, if you just show me these guys, Devonta Adams is number one. And it's not a question. Maybe you could argue for Zach Martin, but nobody else is coming close, even close to Devonta Adams' numbers and impact in the NFL. We're going to do it confidently. We got two and seven left. We need a mediocre guy and we need a true Hall of Famer. Let's hope for the best. At number nine, I mean, I mean, now here's the deal. This is this this feels like a perfect spot, um, but he but I understand that Derek Carr's career is probably marginally better than Jimmy Garoppolo's. Um, you know, both of them have had unfortunate situations. Uh, Garoppolo came from came from money, if you will, in the NFL, playing for the Patriots, playing behind Tom Brady, uh, kind of getting his own start in. Uh, California, but then falling victim to some injuries and some pressure behind him on the depth chart, and then getting traded, and now he's on performance enhancing drugs. So it's just like this roller coaster. Uh, but I think it's okay. Like, I would probably put Derek Carr above him overall, but I think right now, I don't think that's half bad. Let's look who our number two guy is. Let's hope it is a dog. A dog indeed. <laughs> a dog indeed. <laughs> Every dog indeed. All right. Aaron Donald. We'll go here at our two spot. Guys, let's talk about this. Um, I'm going to do this list for real. All right. But let's talk about what we have. Devonta Adams and Aaron Donald at one and two, I think, is respectable. Like, I think that's good. Um, I would probably... Well, you'll see what I do in my final ranking. Zach Martin, three. Mike Evans, Khalil Mack. This five, this five to, <laughs> to eight range is really tricky. Um, okay, I'm going to take a second. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to do my real rankings. I'll throw those up. We'll talk about them. Here are my official rankings for the 2014 NFL Draft. Hall of Fame resumes. Here's the deal, guys. You can't blame me for having Devontae Adams at one. I had two guys left. How was I supposed to know? Perennial all-star, all-pro. Aaron Donald was coming down the line. I had no idea, guys. Okay, I think those two are an undisputed one and two. Um, you know, we're not going to argue for an offensive lineman being above them, although Zach Martin is very talented. That's why we have him at three. No change to him. I think Mike Evans fits perfectly at four in this list. No change to him. And I think Khalil Mack may be lower. I think CJ Mosley has done a lot. I had to look up his numbers, guys. Okay, I will admit that I was very wrong about CJ Mosley. Thanks for sticking around. I apologize. He is probably at five now that I really look at this and I've already hit record. I'm not going to go back and change it. Khalil Mack can shift down. We have Derek Carr, who originally was at nine. I think he's fine at seven. Odell at eight, maybe a little harsh. I had him at six, but I think he falls in that range. We'll see what he does this year in Miami. Jimmy G, again, had potential, had a real chance to cement a legacy he failed to do so and i think he will continue to fail to do so and lastly we have jadamian Clowney, which may not be fair to him he was eighth sorry i didn't add that in i just think jadavian Clowney had so much hype coming into the league and did nothing with it um 
So there you go, guys. That's what I have in terms of my true rankings versus my other rankings. I give myself a B minus. Overall, I think I'm gonna score myself a B minus on this one. If you wanna participate in this at all, make a list. It could be over anything. Give me the rules and email it to me in the email that is up here on the screen. I'll throw it up here, okay? Email me a Google slide, email me the rules, and send it to that, and I'll do a ranking for you. I'll do any game you want me to do, all right? Have fun, enjoy your Thursday, and we'll see you next time.